yeah so good morning good morning everyone i request everyone to please be on mute okay so i will give some important information so after that i am going to explain um i mean i will ask the queries there you can give response okay yeah let me start so good morning everyone welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and welcome to core java core java new batch okay sir at what is the timing 8:15 8:15 am uh let me give introduction to myself so i am k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience not 15 almost 17 years of experience as a trainer trainer in the sense so i worked in various colleges as a uh, technical trainer to train the students with respect to placements okay and uh, yeah please the people who are not getting any uh, audio please uh, reboot okay and the people who are not getting screen also can you please log out and log in sivaradi yeah video won't be there yeah so and i am working as a two years in our durga soft okay so with various courses like uh, java python uh, logic based programming okay and then full stack java okay so next and after that data structures with algorithm like that and coming to this course here we are going to see um the title of the course is nothing but sir we are going to see core java here core java so what about the duration of the course sir the duration of the course is 45 to 50 hours 45 to 50 hours sir it will be around 2 months and the timings of this session is from 8:15 am to okay 9:15 am only on weekdays that is monday to friday sir max we want to take the classes on saturday but if any time situation demands so a small small topics will be there that will be covered on saturdays but sunday anyway we are not going to have any sessions sir next so what is the fees for this batch what is the fees for this batch sir it is rupees 5000 okay next uh, if if you want to continue to this batch so you have to contact to this numbers so 720721 so 2427 or you can take um, 9246 so 21243 any one of this number you can contact for registration purpose sir how many demos will be there demos in the sense it is not a separate uh, classes sir is a part of regular classes only. like uh, how we are going to plan our regular classes in the same way it will be there okay in the same way it will be there but these demos you can expect uh, sir four demos okay you can expect four to five demos will be there after that if you want to continue you have to be get registered for this course sir this is nothing but what we have uh, about the uh, course sir what about the syllabus what the syllabus we are going to cover sir here the syllabus is almost around uh, 30 to 40 topics are there but let me give at outline the first thing sir we are going to see introduction to okay yeah uh, mohammed uh, i will i will give all the information uh, first please listen the class what i am going to explore okay then at last i will answer all your queries definitely okay please wait so introduction to java that is who introduced java what is the demand for java in the market when compared with other programming languages how java is benefited okay like we have to see right because when you are learning new technologies so we should have some problems in the old technologies or this may provide some benefits like this we have to differentiate with other languages and who invented what is the story behind that so uh, everything we are going to cover in this introduction so after this sir we are going to cover a theory topic like java features like 
what advantages are there some people may use java buzzwords so because of these buzzwords only java got popular okay almost some 15 concepts are there theoretical concept anyway with the programming we will see all these things that part we are going to discuss as a second talk then steps to create steps to create our first java application first java application and uh, softwares required softwares required to run java application what softwares are required where we can download that software how to install that software in our mission so what are the various ides we have ides in the sense we know right some predefined tools will be there like uh, intellij ide netbeans ide eclipse ide so these things also we can use to execute our java applications so how you can able to use that that part also we are going to discuss so next and after that sir we have some theory concepts like um, uh, java tokens java tokens java tokens in the sense so what is mean by identifiers so what is mean by comments how you can able to declare so what is mean by keywords what is mean by variables so what is mean by expressions etc some five to six topics are there those things we are going to cover then so data types and uh, type casting so it is a very very important data types in the sense what for example so just now we have seen one program in our previous class okay so somu please cross check you have connected to the audio or not one minute voice is clear some people not connected not connected to audio please check from your end yeah sorry yeah sir data types is very very important topic right for example if you take any java application not only java any programming language sir what kind of data you have to store how to involve with that data example sir we have seen some program just now before one one demo session has taken sir here you can able to see i want to find out maximum of three numbers i prepared a small java program for that have you observed here we are reading some data sir what type of data because we are dealing with the numbers the data type which we have to use is a number it comes under data types concept okay and the type conversion means what or type casting means what sometimes i need to convert from one data type to another data type suppose if anyone asked my percentage are sir what is your percentage of marks sir if my percentage of marks is 65.23 i want to tell 65.23 sometimes i need to tell 65 okay have you observed in your petrol bunks if you are purchasing petrol if it has been displayed sir 99.73 or 83 they will collect 100 rupees are you getting this is nothing but a type conversion or type casting means what so it is possible because it is our common requirement to convert one type of data into another type of data okay how we can able to do that sir that we can able to understand from here that is nothing but data types are type casting converting from one data type to another data type is called as type casting or type conversion so after completion of this we are going to talk about um, okay io statements sir what are the various uh, input and output statements which are existed okay because as a part of java so not only java any programming language if you take it is a common requirement in this example if you see we are reading some data from the user so i required some input mechanism called scanner not only scanner we have n number of tools are there 
so by using those tools how you can able to read the information how you can able to print that result on the screen or that output statements is required okay that part we are going to cover in this io statements next and after that we are going to talk about operators which are existed okay operators which are existed so after completion of these operators we are going to talk about uh, selection statements uh, like uh, we have so simple if is there okay simple if is there so if else is there so else if is there nested if is there okay so switch case is there like this we have all these things we are going to cover next and after that iterative statements some people may use the called looping statements sir we have while loop is there so we have do while loop is there so we have for loop is there we have for each loop is there in advanced java versions we have few more loops also there which is related to the collection framework that part also we will discuss then we have transfer statements are there okay so transfer statements in the sense something like break so continue like this and we have nested loops we know what is meant by nested loops so a loop within another loop some people may use called inner loops also okay and on this we are going to cover pattern programs also this thing we are going to have a workshop okay sir where we are going to cover almost 50 to sir 60 pattern programs like uh, sir if i want to develop a program to print a pattern like this just i will show our previous class running sir so that you can understand that okay just a second yeah we will provide assignments also everything in detail we will explain sir so here you can able to see something related to the patterns we have covered some programs also have a look once i want to generate these kind of patterns of course it won't be useful in the real time but to understand the concept very clearly we have to go for this sir how you can able to write a program for this purpose okay like if i want to generate stars like this how you can able to go sir now i want to generate a pattern like this how to write a program for that sir i want to prepare a pattern like this how to write your java code sir i want to prepare a pattern like this how you can able to write the code okay like this we can able to see so all these things will comes under pattern so that you people are going to get a somewhat idea about how you can able to code how you can able to code next and after that okay so next and after that we are going to have string handling string handling sir for this we have strings are there so we have string buffers are there we have string builders are there so we have string tokenizers are there like three to four types of uh, strings are there sir okay everything why we have to go for these things uh, in java we have a beautiful concept called mutability immutability nature so i will explain with a small diagram so that you can able to understand what is mean by mutability what is mean by immutability consider sir i have a string object is there where the content of the string is nothing but something like uh, india okay something like india so consider this is nothing but um, sir uh, i i want to take country name country name of any user sir if i want to develop a university management system project assume some 10000 students are there under that university for all these 10000 members every member is having country name object sir listen carefully creating 10000 india string objects assigning to the individual because content is common why we have to waste the memory that's why all these 10000 objects are going to point to the sir same object with the content india because this object is fixed for everyone why we need to go for unnecessary memory better to use already existing memory here there is one small problem suppose in these 10000 members 
if any person is trying to change this india word what will happen because of this bloody modification rest of the all members are going to be affected or not yes that's why sir java string objects are divided into two types sir one is nothing but mutable objects so mutable objects in the sense what modifications are allowed modifications are allowed sir second type is nothing but immutable objects what is mean by immutable object sir modifications are not allowed sir this part we can see but majority of the data type which we are using in java is nothing but strings that's why specially for this string mutable objects are there in this four immutable objects also there and we are going to have a some homework on that also okay uh, like how to prepare a simple programs just i will show you the previous class running notes there you can able to see how you can able to work on that okay just a second yeah like this we are going to discuss in detail about the strings okay in detail about the strings and once sit string is a predefined concept sir so some constructor some methods will be there everything how it is going to work with live examples we will see okay and here once if the string concepts got completed we will implement a program on that also okay we will implement a program on that here you can able to see the programs some applications okay uh, like um, yeah right sir here i have a string is there so this is my requirement means what the complete data i want to reverse how you can able to code for that sir i want to reverse every word every word into reverse i don't want the total sentence to be reversed in that sentence every word reverse i want how you can able to code for that sir i want to only uh, odd locations or odd words i want to interchange even words i have to keep as it is odd words i have to uh, reverse how you can able to even even words i want to replace how you can able to like this we are going to perform maximum 10 to 15 programs purely on strings sir next and after that we are going to cover arrays so arrays i can say it is something like a data structure in java sir okay arrays is nothing but something like a data structure in java okay anyway we will discuss in detail about this arrays next we have collections are there okay or i can say collection framework so collection framework in the sense sir it is also a data structure there are some problems are there with arrays to overcome that problems we are moving for collections so what is mean by collection how you can able to create a collection object sir how you can able to store the data what kind of operations we can perform everything we are going to see in this collection framework sir just i want to show you one simple example program related to this okay sir have a look once here just observe this method alone i have five student objects are there every student object is having a name age of the student marks of the student sir i want to arrange the data i want to arrange the data according to okay according to increasing order of marks that means the student who got least marks should be printed first the student who got highest second marks second highest have to be printed like this i need to arrange the students data in an order based on which attribute sir marks sir is it possible to arrange the student data based on age yes no problem you can do sir here based on modify based on marks i have done modifications based on age i have done modifications based on names also i can sir these type of things if you want you have to go with the collection framework something like data structure so in detail about this we are going to discuss okay sir this this entire thing whatever i have given will comes under part 1 part 1 is very easy sir because so it is a basic fundamentals i can say this is nothing but a java fundamentals basic fundamentals you are going to get and you will love enjoying these classes because everything we will see a theory part for that theory how that definition came 
how easily you can able to remember the def that the definition like what examples we can bring like if i am taking uh, a, any concept like looping statement definitely for every looping statement i will correlate with some real time examples so that you can remember them like that i am going to explain so this i can able to say the first part of our java still we have another two parts are there definitely i will give that is syllabus also sir now just i will give some time for you to interact so this is about the course what we are going to plan and this is the syllabus and one more note one more note sir here for this batch sir you can expect running notes sir you can expect running notes on daily basis i am going to share via google drive okay via google drive so the trainer is going to share the data that means myself sir videos videos will be given for you with 7 months access okay so our admin team are going to upload the videos same these people are going to upload the videos by using google drive so you have to provide only gmail id at the time of registration next sir what about interview questions no problem at the end of our course you can expect interview questions also okay then sir multiple choice questions also i am going to give related to the coding okay and also some assignments will be given for you people if you are very interested to solve the assignments happily you can able to understand the concept and you can able to solve okay something like you can able to see the beginning itself sir somewhere i have given some assignments like if you see just a second i will show you so maybe here it is not there just a second yeah here you can able to see so how to check even number or odd number how you can able to check void or not so leap year or not e e commerce company bookshelf sir topic related programs we have huge collection of programs are there topic related programs one or two i will explain i mean i will give as a homework for you people with the concepts whatever we have explained with that you can able to solve this this kind of assignment every week you can expect okay this is nothing but the content which i am going to provide in my regular classes which you can't expect from other stuff okay right sir uh, yeah this is nothing but uh, about our course and what we are going to discuss and the syllabus only first part i have explained still continuation is there but before moving to the further just i have a small interaction for you people yes now if you are having any queries up to this you can feel free to ask or you can post it on chat window yes please go ahead any doubts yes requesting yes, everyone Part any doubts up to uh, this how many how many months is to take like how many days it will take sir it it will be finished within two months sir like uh, this month is uh, uh november right november december at the end of december you can finish the course so oh. how many days take for part one mm -hmm. part one will be taken how many days part one around some 20 to 25 days sir and we will spend more time on part 1 because once if you are clear with part 1 rest of the things easily we can able to write yes sir no one is responding can you please confirm any doubts up to this please feel free to ask your queries if no doubts please post it on chat window that confirmation message sir uh, we have java boom is there at the same time python is also having same support so java and python are ruling the it industry definitely there will be n number of opportunities on core java 
if you are a fresher this course definitely it will be useful if you are an experienced person in addition to that you need to spend some time sir okay that i can able to give assurance okay how about dsa course somewhere you have mentioned it is already going if you are interested you can attend that dsa also uh, that fees is also very less 1000 rupees at morning 7 o'clock we have that class okay already three demos completed if you are willing just refer our uh, website or telegram link or youtube channel there you will find the details tomorrow class is there there you can join sir what is the dsa data structures and algorithms sir so for that uh, do we need uh, any uh, java yes sir basis? yes sir java background must be required compulsory you must have an idea at least in fundamentals okay so we can't uh, continue parallelly like uh, no it is not possible but uh, another 3 months it will take to launch another new batch so that's why if you have an idea better to at least if you have some idea on java or at least a programming background better register uh, so that you can cope up yeah what is the advantage of that sir actually you have started that logic uh, logic programming classes also mm -hmm. so what is the advantage of uh, joining that uh, dsa classes along with sir uh, actually speaking uh, for every programmer in addition to programming language some additional skills must be required we can say that as a coding skills or uh, logic logic skills or problem solving skills that that is nothing but what we have done with the help of logic based program that means if you are getting a problem by using the programming language how you can able to solve that part alone we have seen right so something like collecting the data that's all whatever we have done is only raw material we have collected but data structures is very very important aspect in the programming domain so you should have a minimum idea about uh, data structures as a fresher or an experienced in our real time also everywhere knowingly or unknowingly every day we are using data structure so that data structures we are going to spend in detail okay so with java that is our course this is the syllabus what we are going to have for that so introduction to data structures and algorithms problem solving time and space complexities this is the main agenda because if you take any algorithm uh, any problem statement you can solve in n number of ways but which one will give more benefit so we are going to use that kind of algorithms and this is the syllabus tentative syllabus what we have and here you can able to see some real time examples also i have given for data structures see everywhere data structures is used sir apart from the programming background you must have an idea about this data structures but as a fresher basic is sufficient but when you are a working person if you don't know anything about data structures you must have an idea this is the benefit for that okay uh yeah sir are you going to cover complete core java and once if the core java get completed will you be starting any advanced java classes as of now core java batch advanced java as of now not yet started so if possible we will see here yeah, recordings will be there uh, that you can able to watch already i have given right in the second point you can able to see recorded videos once if the class completed max on the same day we are going to share recording also okay yeah we will see yeah it is a only core java so study materials is not required uh, subramanian reddy because uh, see uh, the simple thing is sir today if i am taking one program tomorrow i will give more realistic example program maybe for the next batch i will give few more examples so like batch to batch the concepts a way of explanation the way of real time examples these things are going to be changed that's why i didn't prepared any material for this so just i will share the running notes okay in that the complete information will be there so that is more than sufficient okay hello sir yeah sir actually just now i joined little bit late hmm 
sir how we will get um, the recordings you will uh, sir we them? will we will we will share by using google drive it is oh, not okay. a downloadable just you have to view that sir mm, and sir one more doubt i have what is the timing sir uh, timings are from 8:15 to 9:15 sir in the morning yes in the morning ist uh, sir what is the mm, mm, payments of fee yeah 5000 sir it is okay, there sir. on the screen you can able to see sir is there any installments or that you can contact to admin team sir how may contact sir is there any number yeah uh, number is there just i am sharing on the chat window you can contact to them sure that is social definitely tomorrow onwards it will start sir no sir already it is starting just i am explaining the syllabus from tomorrow we will start actual concepts okay sir sure thank you sir yeah uh nellu sir these hi, sir. are the yeah hi somo tell me sir what about the front end part sir i require front end also uh, see uh, we are not going to cover any front end uh, topics here but uh, okay. we are going to take uh, you have mentioned in the chat window that database concepts right uh, yes sir we are going to use the database concept like mysql minimum two days we are going to work on that mysql database because java is a technology by using which we can communicate with the database also okay yes sir so that part also we are going to discuss and what about framework yeah frameworks we are not going to touch here even jdbc database connectivity also not in detail just basic some small mini project we will take like reading the student details and uh, how you can able to insert that data if you want to just a minute i will show you one simple project so you can able to see on my screen so we have one simple table is there so which okay. contains uh, uh, student name student email id subject one marks subject two subject three subject four subject five and these informations we are going to take from the user we will calculate the total we will calculate the grade we will decide the uh, either pass or fail this complete information we are going to write in this database this data is permanent from 3 to 4 java batches i am taking this program so that means this data is available in my system almost from the past 6 months that means you can able to understand how the data is preserved in the databases so this to explain this we are going to take minimum 4 to 5 examples like if you provide input as 1 to 3 so to my java i mean name email email id or name uh, email id it it is not going to accept so how you can able to filter that for that regular expressions are there like this in detail we will work out on that okay okay sir sir uh, for uh, front end uh, is there any separate classes going on uh, maybe you can check in the website sir definitely it will be there okay sir. yeah uh, mahmud he is asking sir tell me your experience sir i have 17 years of experience as a trainer so okay so i am not a real time expert okay so see uh, the real time scenarios and the teaching things are completely different in my point of view so uh, to understand the core java completely whatever stuff is required whatever tools are required that i will provide with my best okay real time projects that we are not going to done here okay because it is not a um, advanced concepts so we can use frameworks all these things to develop real time projects but here we are not doing okay right sir i will i will continue this whatever first part 15 topics i have told right let me complete at least the syllabus explanation sir the next after completion of this very very important concept is nothing but oops object oriented object oriented programming okay sir how you can able to do this object oriented programming so i am not giving in detail about this oops but uh, so almost around 50 to 60 inner topics are there in this oops okay that we will discuss in detail later okay object oriented programming sir next after completion of this oops sir we are going to talk about um, okay wrapper classes uh, before that 
there is one concept is there called inner classes okay after this we are going to talk about uh, wrapper classes what is mean by wrapper classes sir you will get more real time examples on this wrapper classes of course maybe the people who are uh, coming with a new blind background you can't able to understand these topics we will see in future and uh, sir we have exception exception handling is there exception handling in the sense how you can able to handle runtime errors runtime errors okay sir next and after that we are going to cover multi threading so what is mean by multi threading so multi threading in the sense what multitasking our mobile phones our laptops all these are multitasking more than one task it can able to do even every human being is also best example for multitasking but when it comes to the programming how you can able to do that part also we are going to discuss in detail so next and after that um, sir generics what is mean by generics how you can able to solve the problems which we are getting in our uh, uh, collection framework that part we are going to cover and awt abstract window toolkit okay and also swing sir these are used to prepare gui applications okay gui applications like uh, i told right student management system how you can able to prepare a simple gui application for reading the data how if you click on submit button how this data will be inserted into the database that by taking a small mini project we will cover that next and after that we are going to talk in detail about uh, uh, file handling like i can say so io io package or i can say file handling like uh, sir i will write a program to read information from the file and we will write a program how you can able to write information to the file so for this just i will give some brief idea so here you can able to see yeah sir uh, here you can able to see i have a simple java program is there don't mind i will execute this code a simple java program is there so if i want to run this java program just for your understanding purpose i am telling sir i am compiling the java program these steps i will explain in our upcoming classes sir i am running the program my program is asking enter a value let me supply any number let us see what it is going to do enter b value sir i am giving 22 sir it is displaying addition of these two numbers that means i implemented a simple java program to perform addition of two numbers sir once if i clear this screen or once if i close this terminal if you reopen the terminal or if you are if you are doing again sir you can't able to see what is the output that you are going to get that means what output is completely hidden you can't able to see that is nothing but the problem what we are going to get to store the data permanently sir we have to go for files concept so here we are going to discuss that in detail so there is one small program is there just to have a look once this is the program for it sir here i am going to create a folder okay i will create a folder so in the desktop something like uh, sir demo demo in this folder i want to store the file whatever you have given okay now you can able to see sir i want to copy paste the path whatever we have like this i have so i am going to create a file with name addition.txt whatever data you are giving program is same only this part i changed sir what i am doing in this three lines or four lines of code i am creating a file and i am trying to store the information okay let us run so java c test.java so when you are executing the program are you seeing anywhere addition file no but once if you run the program one and two sir is addition file got created or not no sir it is created somewhere i think so okay uh, maybe path related issues are there better i will do one thing 
I will create in the same working directory. Sir, same working directory in the sense what Prakash classes already addition is there? No. Now here it will create. Let me check. Now I am giving one and sir is addition.txt file created or not? Yes, you can able to see. If you open sir a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to 3. Just now we executed. Sir, I will execute one more time. Now I am giving triple one, triple two. Sir, is this information is added or not? You can able to see. Like this, how we can able to store the data in a permanent manner means, yes, there is one data structure for that. I mean, storage area concept is there for that, which is nothing but a file handling. In detail about we will discuss. Then, similarly, sir, MySQL. MySQL is very, very important. Uh, not only MySQL, we can go with either Oracle also, but MySQL is a lightweight, sir. Okay. It is nothing but a database related terminology. How to create the table, how you can able to read data, like we are going to discuss. Here you can able to see, we are going to learn in detail about the tables. Sir, have you observed? Addition table is there. Whatever data we have written there, sir, I can able to, uh, I can able to push it here also. Have you observed? So I can write a Java program to same perform, same operation, sir. Whatever A value and B value are going, it you are giving, it will be stored. But when when compared with the files, we have some problems in the file handling. Okay, large volume of data, query support won't be there. Those things we can solve by using Java database connectivity. We will see minimum two to three some uh, example projects not real time projects example projects on this jdbc okay sir i can say this is nothing but our second part of java okay let me talk about third part sir here we are going to cover java 8 features what are the new features which are existed in java 8 and in java 9 what features they have introduced that is new versions so in java 10 what features are there Sir, in Java 11, what features are there? And the latest version, Java 14, what features are there? Okay. So, these things we are going to discuss. Sir, all the newer versions are having so many features. But these features are standard features. That's why we are going to see these five versions, new features. Okay. Sir, why these many versions are there? What is the story behind this? Okay. Like you can see in our movies, Sir, if first part got very success, immediately we are planning for the second part, right? In the same way, sir, Java is a successful programming language. Various versions we have, okay? Anyway, we are going to discuss about all these things. This is nothing but, sir, at the top level, what is the syllabus that we are going to discuss, okay? Now, if you are having any queries, please let me know. Yeah, sir, uh, are you being, uh, are you going to cover like a multi-threading enumeration? And yes, sir. yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are going to cover. Like, uh, and then like uh, uh, collection frameworks, yes, uh, you know, like generics and uh, modifiers. Yes, sir. We concepts. are we are going to cover. Yes, generics we are going to cover. Modifiers will be covered in the OOPS itself. Yeah, okay, fine, sir. Fine, sir. So one question that is uh, is DSA same as advanced Java or no, no, advanced no, no, Java? No, 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 no. DSA is completely a separate. Uh, sir, DSA is nothing but see. Uh, I think you heard about one simple example. I will. For example, if you want to credit some amount to your account, you will go to bank, right? Right. So in that, if you are if you are uh, giving some amount by filling some application form. So, your transaction will be in queue. Is it correct? Um, okay. Correct. That, that queue is called as a data structure. The technique okay. which we are following to process the items. So, I have okay. some 100 students are there in my class. So, I want to filter the students. According to height wise, you can filter. According to marks wise, you can filter. According to age factor, you can filter. So these things, if you want to organize the data, then we have to go for data structure. Data structure is an independent of programming language. 
so if you take any data structure like i said q you can implement that q data structure in python or java or in c language any programming language you can take you can implement that is called as data structure okay, okay. but then what is advanced java like that's where i'm very confused Ad, yeah like. advanced java is nothing but see whatever syllabus i have shown with the help of this you can prepare a small small java applications right Okay. So, if you want to prepare a full-fledged big application, someone asked, sir, can you please explain your real-time projects? If I want to prepare real-time projects, you must have an idea about advanced Java, like frameworks are there, JDBC, servlets, Spring Framework, oh, Hibernate, okay. those are there. By using that, we can develop a full-fledged project. But to move to that, you must have an idea about uh, core Java, right? So, oh, that is got the it, thing got it. what we are going to learn. Okay? So, this is, so, this is step one and then we have to so okay yes. that will be step two or yes yes correct and that is also required in real time right like in yes, real definitely, time definitely definitely but yeah. uh, for a fresher it is not required sir because the company people are going to provide uh, some tools or frameworks they will train that freshers but experienced guy means they should have an idea about at least one framework that's why he, if you are going for any interview, they will ask, Are which technology you are comfortable? If you tell Java, in that Java, which framework you are working? Like that, they will ask. Oh, okay. Because Thank with you. the help of Core Java, you can't uh, run any big applications. Core Java is just like alphabets in our uh, language. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, I request everyone to please post the message on chat window if you are having no queries. Please acknowledge me. Clear up to this? Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, it's Lomo here. And yeah, please. What full stack, how much is there any course and is there any classes going on? Sir? Uh, sir, you can check our website, sir. As of now, I am not planning any full stack. As of now, we have core Java. Okay, after completion of this, if you want, you can go advanced Java or UI technologies like that. Uh, okay, but it uh, will be the same fees, but it may be separate fees for that. Separate, separate fees, sir. Because those are advanced tools, right? Definitely fees is going to vary. Uh, okay. but Will there be any concession now? We are doing the core Java and uh, after coming from this uh, year, I, I don't know about this fees structure, all these things, sir. You can directly contact our admin team. They will be in a position to provide support. Okay. Thank you, sir. Right.